our goal is to deliver a tremendous value for our new investors. So She's again, the founder and CEO of The Real Real, reselling luxury goods like pre-owned Birkin bags and Cartier watches. Julie Wainwright's eight-year-old company went public in June. The total opportunity in the U.S. is $200 billion. Most of the business is online, with three retail stores to date. Well, now we're just like, how big can we get? I mean, and growth has been rapid. Yeah. Merchandise volume up 48%. Revenue up 52% in the first nine months of the year. Still, company financials show it's not profitable. Everything is authenticated. The Real Real's promise? Authenticated by our experts. With an expert behind every item, we ensure everything we sell is 100% real. 100% authentic. There's no fakes on our site. That message is key to The Real Real's appeal and has helped drive growth. But has it grown so fast it can't deliver on its 100% promise? So we are going to the Galerie Lafayette opening. Just ask this celebrity designer. She recently called out the company on Instagram for selling a fake version of her shoe. What's up, you guys? I'm and hundreds of fired up customers, like this one, <laughs> posting on YouTube. It looks like this was scratched by a cat. And this longtime customer. They can't say they're the real real with the best authenticators, and they can't back it up. After speaking with nearly three dozen former employees and obtaining these internal company documents, our investigation uncovered a different reality inside the real real. Did you actually see fakes make their way onto the site for sale? Yeah. Shanice Parchment was a copywriter for nearly three and a half years at the real real's warehouse in Secaucus, New Jersey but says the team she managed did more than just write about designer goods. They authenticated them too. Do you think they had enough training to authenticate these luxury bags? No, I don't think anyone had enough training to authenticate anything. And the Real Real's quote, expert behind every item? Only some items. That's been happening since I began at the Real Real. Greta Stair worked as a luxury manager for the Real Real in Los Angeles spending most days with consigners, but says a 2015 company tour of the warehouse in New Jersey left her questioning the business. Most pieces were being handled by the copywriters, and only very, very high value items, it seemed, were being authenticated by the actual lead authenticators. It was very surprising because I was under the impression, even as an employee, that every item was authenticated by an expert. Hello. I'm Graham Wetzbarger. Graham Wetzbarger has been the chief authenticator and very public face of the real real. This is truly amazing. But what exactly did his team authenticate? CNBC obtained this internal chart from 2018 sent out to copywriters, spelling out what was to be processed by the authentication team and what copywriters were to handle. Based on this, anything Chanel went to the authentication team, but Fendi bags, no. Prada bags, only leather. And Gucci belts and shoes, both knows. According to a 2015 World Customs Organization report, some of the most counterfeited brands in the world include Chanel and Gucci. Some people don't even know the difference between real leather and fake leather. So how are they going to authenticate an, an item? Top authenticators are trained to spot tiny details in designer bags like the number of stitches per panel in Chanel's iconic quilting pattern. Chanel is suing The Real Real, claiming the company sold counterfeit bags on the site. The Real Real says the suit amounts to harassing with meritless litigation, and the case is pending. According to Parchment, when fakes and mistakes were discovered on the site, they were added to a list to be corrected. How many of these corrections were happening every day? Too many to count. Did mistakes happen? Absolutely. Yeah, all the time. Emily Bob worked as a copywriter at the Secaucus warehouse for more than a year and says she was also tasked with authentication. And I sort of had an idea of how to authenticate a handbag. So I would go in and I would do it myself, praying that it was authentic. Do you think you had enough training to know what's real and what's fake in every category? I wouldn't say I had enough because I obviously had some bags that I published on the site that were fake. Trying to figure out if a bag is real or not is not, you know, the top of your priority. So what is the real priority? It was just get as much out as you can.
This internal document lists a specific daily quota for 2018 and 19, saying copywriters are expected to consistently reach their daily quota and copywriters are subject to disciplinary actions. The way that we were expected to work was like a machine from Julie herself that we had to get in these numbers by the end of every month in order to please the investors. Stair says she left after three years to work for a competitor, the real, real suitor for taking its clients, which she denies. The suit was eventually settled. We sifted through close to 1,400 reviews of the real, real online and in public records. The top three complaints include fakes, damage, and customer service. Inexcusable if your name is the real, real. Inexcusable. Wendy Meltzer has consigned with the real, real, making nearly 40,000 selling her designer clothes. She's also a customer. But now, she'd like a word with the CEO. Tell her to call me. We need to talk about your authenticators. She's talking about blatant mistakes, like this Laura Piana scarf she spotted online. There's no fabric label. Shown with the tags still attached and a price of more than 3000 which she knew must be wrong. It's not the right tag. What did I miss? What did I miss at Laura Piana that was over $3,000? We took the scarf right to Laura Piana and were told it is real. But the tag actually belongs on a women's coat. The real, real authenticator didn't know what they were looking at. No clue as to the price point. After Meltzer complained, she says a real, real employee sent this text, admitting, obviously, a major error. Shame on you. Shame on you. Change your name. Everything we carry is real is so important to us that so we put it in our name. But this big name is now gone. Classic Chief authenticator Bobby Graham Wetzbarger. With the Velcro, love that. He tells uh, CNBC, it, it, I won't discuss why I left the company. When um, asked about his departure off, after nearly seven years, horrible, he denies it was related to our story. An and when it comes to copywriters kind of authenticating of items, of Wetzbarger would not comment. The company declined our repeated request to go on camera. Instead, sending this statement saying in part, we stand behind our authentication process and will always work with our customers to make things right. And if there is a question about the authenticity of an item purchased from the real real, we refund the purchase price upon return. The company refused to provide any more details, only saying that this is our final statement.